just because it's an unconventional source doesn't mean that it shouldn't be put to use. I don't think there's enough public awareness about it, even in a conscious place like Eugene. It's just something you don't think about. People are still learning about what we do all the time. There's certainly a movement to, to start using urban trees, and not every area has the resources we do here in Oregon. We get trees that occasionally come down in storms, or if they're taken out, if they're dead or hazardous, usually from right in town and people's yards or on the city right of ways. I think generally urban trees get chipped up or, or cut for firewood or sometimes even landfilled, which just costs who's ever doing it, whether it's the municipality or the homeowner, just costs them a lot more time and money. Well, good lumber is always harder and harder to find all the time. And as a woodworker, I was looking for good wood and then also seeing all these beautiful trees here in Eugene not being used and I kind of put the two together. I love working with my hands. It feels good every day to create something and know that I'm building something that's probably going to be around a long time out of a natural material that I feel like is timeless. I feel like good solid wood never goes out of style. It's pretty exciting to me to basically open up a log for the first time so you can smell the you know the scent of the, the wood and, and see the green is really vibrant when it's fresh cut. So you know everybody's so used to um, getting trees from the forest you know which will always need to be done but there's no reason you wouldn't use these beautiful trees that have to come down anyways here in town. Every tree comes from a different situation, whether it's um, down an alley in a tight spot or you know just working around houses and cars as opposed to just mass production that happens in the forest. Commercially cut woods are all kind of handled the same way, but you get basically the same product all the time. Every tree that's a, is a little different and we treat it a little different. I'll find a piece of wood that I think is really cool or unique and I'll oftentimes build a piece of furniture around that. So if the piece of wood has a certain shape or a certain natural spot for it to be cut, usually that's how we get started. Um, lately I've been pairing a lot of steel with my wood and I think it's a good way for the often natural edge and a little more rustic pieces that we use um, to be more refined. It kind of makes them a little more contemporary. Yeah, we've done a lot of different furniture. We do a lot of custom work um, as well as work for our own to go in our showroom, but um, we do a little bit of everything. I think there's still a ton of possibilities. We feel like we're just scratching the surface and getting our stuff out there. And I see it continuing to grow, but I hope that it doesn't get too big and we, we can still you know, focus on the uniqueness and the quality.